here. And I just want to give you a bit of background about the book. So some people are very confused. They're just like, oh, really? Like another relationship book? Like, are you going to tell women to jump through hoops to? Like, like, okay, I'm not even going to say <laughs> But like, what kind of advice are you really going to give, you know, women? And this is the thing. Like, it's a book about dating, and it's a book about relationships. But at the end of the day, it's about being a phenomenal woman. It's right. about honoring yourself. It's about figuring out what you want. And it's totally not about, and I know God gets really upset when I say this, but it's not about pleasing a man. It's about getting along with the opposite sex, if that's what you're trying to do. But more than anything, it's about honoring yourself, figuring out who you are and honoring that, and finding somebody who, if you're looking, finding somebody who's compatible with your values and your goals instead of doing that whole switch or change out for the first 90 days so you're just like, I can't do this anymore, you know? So I feel like as black women, we've had like a really difficult time. All through 2010, there were all these stories about like, from, you know, Nightline and Newsweek and, you know, economists from random women in Russia. They were like, Russian. I was like, why do you care? What are you doing? You know? But there were all these conversations about what's wrong with, you know, single black women. Like, they're professional and they can't get it together and they're bitter and they're angry and their expectations. And this is really like your, I don't want to say your F you, but that's what it is. You know? It's just like I couldn't listen to another story about single, bitter, angry black women because I knew women who were dating and I knew women who sometimes were frustrated and sometimes were heartbroken, but I knew there was so much more to their lives, to their dating lives, their overall lives. Like we go to brunch, we talk about dudes, but we talk about work and we talk about clothes and we talk about travel and kids and there's so much more to our lives than just that one thing. So I didn't want to be, you know, like a professional woman, a degree woman and be defined by my dating status. There's so much more to me than that and there's so much more to the women in this room. So I've written this book for me and for you. So that we have, when we hear the, oh my God, bitter, single, I'm like, uh-uh, we got somebody, she documented us. <laughs> we exist, we exist, our happiness exists. So with that said, I would like to read you an excerpt from the book. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Um, and I need to give you a little background. Um, it's called A Bell in Brooklyn, but I travel all over the place because, you know, I like to travel, as many of you do. Um, so this story actually takes place in L.A., and I need to give you a couple, a um, little bit of information about some of the back story. Um, I went out to the ESPY Awards. ESPY, ESPN annual, everybody nodded. I need to explain. Okay. <laughs> so I went out to the ESPY Awards. My friend Bonnie, I went to, went to college. No, I did not go to college with her. I went to the University of Maryland. I practically lived on Howard's campus because that's where all my friends went, hang out on the yard when it's cold, top of the library, whole nine yards. So Bonnie is my long-term friend. She now lives across the hall from me in New York. She works for ESPN and she gets, um, she's working the ESPY Awards and she has all these extra tickets. And so she gives away most of them and she's at my apartment one day and she's like, I have this extra ticket, like, you know, I have a hotel room and I have a car and I have all these, like, you know, VIP passes and there's nobody else that's going to LA. Do you know anybody who's going to LA? And I was like, I can get a ticket. <laughs> So I go out to LA with her and she has to work the entire weekend and she gives me VIP passes to, you know, let's go to the Playboy Mansion and, you know, let's go to the actual ESPY Awards and, and all these, like, these crazy things. I'm like, whose life is this? You know, it's Bonnie's life, but I'm borrowing it for the weekend. Um, so I go out there with her. I also meet while I'm out there. I'm hanging out by myself because she's working the whole time. Um, I meet a girl named Tiffany. I'm standing because um, Bonnie got me tickets to the Playboy Mansion. So I'm standing in front of like the Mondrian Hotel, which is very like shishi <laughs> Um And I'm standing there waiting for you know my limo to take me, because the limo takes everyone there, because that's my borrowed life. <laughs> and so this girl goes, you know, I like your hair. And so I turn around, and she has like a big fluffy afro. And I'm like, I like your hair. So then we started talking, and I was like, oh my god, like women bond over hair the way men bond over sports. Right? Like, this is, like you can, any woman you ever want to meet, she's like, how do you get your hair like? And, and you go,